Respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, is the most common cause of bronchiolitis, which are the small airways in the lungs less than two millimetres in diameter. Infants below the age of six months are the greatest risk for this virus, especially in the winter months. The virus is transmitted via respiratory droplets. These could be seen in coughing and sneezing and enter the upper respiratory tract where the virus will infect cells in the respiratory epithelium. The virus then propagates its way down the airway to the smaller airways. When the virus infects cells, it can cause more than one cell to merge. And this is called a syncytium. And this is why this virus is called a syncytial virus. Infected cells will eventually die or be killed off by the immune system, leading to inflammation. And when this is in the bronchioles, this is termed bronchiolitis. The inflammation will cause an increase in mucus production on the outside of the respiratory epithelium, whilst an increase in edema in the bronchioles. Both the increase in mucus secretion and the edema in the bronchioles may restrict airflow into the smaller airways. The common signs and symptoms in a mild illness of RSV include a runny nose, a sore throat, a cough and a fever, while if the airway restriction is severe, it may lead to wheezing, shortness of breath and hypoxia. For treatment, in mild cases, RSV is a self-limiting virus and supportive care would be recommended. Whilst in moderate to severe RSV cases, humidified oxygen support would be necessary. Some promising news, however, the world's first RSV vaccine trial has been completed, which has shown great success.